And we are live, Cowabunga dudes. Cowabunga. Welcome. Bunga. Review and a half show, Turtle Talk Thursday. I think this is week number three. So we're starting to build some momentum. Can't wait till the people start trickling in. There it is. We got our your boy, part of the triple thread, Perry Comics. Already there he popping. is. What's up? What What's is up, Perry? <laughs> Damn, wrong cartoon, this guy. I hope <laughs> not. You know, you got to love you some turtles, man. What's up, Dark Mufasa? What's going on, my MCE family? What's going on, brother? So we're up against some other shows, but it doesn't matter, Edwin, because we're talking the best thing right now, and that is Turtles. And I'm super excited to be going over the new comic book day, Turtles, with you guys. And we'll be going over Shredder and Hell issue number one. So you guys want to make sure you stay tuned. You got your volume up. You got your notes. Because you want to take notes so that way you're all caught up on Turtles. But before we get in there, Edwin, I got to unbox this. Because it's Turtle related. I know it's Turtle related. It's actually from my boy, Big Will. Shout out to Big Will. Thank you, sir. I kind of brokered this book off of him when I was on his channel. Pretty much it was an A-OK. -okay. I just told him I needed that book, and he was like, just give me shipping, and it's yours. I'm like, dude. Nice. Uh, nice. You know? So what up, JB? Discovery Bay Conics in the building. So he was showing off some books that he wanted to give away in an A-OK. -okay. And there was one in particular that he showed that I was like, yo, I need that. And he was like, all right, just give me the shipping. So it was all about it. And it's Turtles related. I hope I can get this. Dude, am I, am I about to be yeah. like uh, super jealous? Yeah. Am I about to be super jealous by what you're going to open, man? I don't I know. Hope not. I mean, you should. You might even already have this. It's part of that. Current run. I don't have. A, see, I'm unprepared to open this box. I don't even have my box cutter with me. Oh man, come on now. I know. It, well, I thought it was next to me, but I guess it's not. You got to use oh. the muscles, bro, that you were showing off earlier. Yeah. Oh, really? yeah. Well, they're, they're <laughs> a little tired, bro. You know, I was using them earlier, carrying all the weight on Kenny's show. You know, it's oh, hard. Hey, <laughs> yeah. tired, bro. It's it's hard, tired. You know, when you're the, it's hard when you're the star. You know, <laughs> you're carrying so, them on your shoulders, man. Yeah. All right, Dude, so, so while right. you're opening that for everybody in the chat, Chad actually won my giveaway from earlier. So I showed him this, man. He won the Marvel Mystery Box. I'm going to be shipping this out to him probably tomorrow or Saturday. So hopefully next week you get this in the mail, man. Oh, I can't wait, man. I'm super oh, excited. I'm and I'm really happy that, you know, my, my, turtle, my turtle brother was able to get this. Hell yeah, bro! First of all, shout out to Big Will because of course he never just sends one book in a in a box, right? So he sent a couple other books, and I'll show, I guess I'll show those off. But yeah, when I receive that box, Evan, I will let you know, and we will go live, sir, and you will join me, and we yeah, will I, figure out what is in that box together because you don't know what's in there. I have no idea, man. So, and and you've opened a couple of those, right? So yeah, I've done I've done a video. I've opened uh, a DC and an independent one. I've never opened a Marvel one, so I don't know what's in there. Oh right, sweet. Oh dude, this is awesome. Big Will, I don't know if you're in the chat, but thank you, sir. You did not have to do this. So, wow. I guess the first thing I'm going to show you. It's a. Uh, well, I don't know if you saw that. I hope you did it. Oh, <laughs> this is sick. I cannot wait to show that off. All right. So there was only one book that I wanted, but Big Will sent three. So the first thing we have, True Believers, number one, Wolverine Sword Quest. So, nice. of course, we all know that iconic cover and this little homage. So I'll definitely read this little True Believers action. So thank you, Big Will. This is awesome. And, yo, this is right up Big Shaq's alley because he's a true believer all day. So, so. I think that ori the original one was that first appearance of Patch, of Wolverine as Patch. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Yeah, Wolverine number one. That was from his uh, ongoing series. All right. So did not know that. So another book that he sent me that I didn't know was coming in here. And this is just a sick, sick cover, man. Just psh. And... Yeah, bro. Lady Death. Nice. And it says Hughes on it. So, 
right here. Real nice. Okay. I've never read any Lady Death. Me either, but I might start reading Lady Death now. Who's the publisher on that? What did it say? I didn't see. Um, yeah, well, this is like it doesn't say no because it's just got the. Perry says, uh, Jabroni's like a brainiac. Dude, I got so much knowledge on comic books, man. I've read so much. I'm always, I, I'm always trying to, to, to get as smart as I can, man, when it, when it comes to this now, this comic book game. The more, the more you know. Chaos Comics, this is done by? Chaos. I don't know that one. Stephen Hughes and Jason Jensen did the cover. So it's not the Hughes you were thinking. Nope. I just said <laughs> it says Hughes, but still dope cover. It is a nice cover. Super but I'm wait, I'm waiting for the turtle one, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, that's the one I gotta show off last, sir. You know, that's why we're all here. So a shout out to Big Will, man. That's awesome, bro. Yeah, I can't man, that that. Good. That's that the comic karma gods are smiling smiling on you, sir. Yeah, it seems that way, man. And yesterday too, bro, because I found some heat too yesterday that I was all about. I mean, if they're not turtle related, I could show you, you know, off air later. Just general. Yeah, but good stuff. So, and one of them, Batman too, actually. Slap Woo. right up your alley. Woo. All right. So the book that I saw that Big Will was like, yeah, you know, I'm just trying to get rid of this or whatever. I was like, yo, I want that. This is a teenage mutant ninja. Turtles issue 44. Sorry. I'm just like taking it all in. Retail incentive variant. Ooh, yeah. I'm jealous, bro. You don't got this one? I do not have that one, man. The retailer incentive. Yeah. That is a nice one. This is a six sick cover. Yeah. You got their Karai, the whole foot. They're going down. Hey, so chat. So, so for everybody that's in the chat that doesn't know, why is 44 so important? True. Well, they should have learned last week. We talked they, about it. They should have. If anyone was here last week and took some notes, if you know why 44 is so important, put it in the chat. And if you do, I actually, because I have an extra Team NT free comic book day, and I know for a fact I got a couple extra issues, and I could probably get a trade somehow that's Team NT related. Maybe, you know, if you know this answer, you might have something coming your way. Uh oh, so, giving them uh -oh. too much time. That now they're just looking it up. Yeah, now they're looking it up for there sure. We go. They are. Biggie Shack. Nope, that was close though. Biggie Shack, you're you're off a couple turtles. You're off a couple turtles, sir. <laughs> but I appreciate you taking that step and throwing throwing something out there. Throwing something out there. It's all good. Well. <clears throat> We'll see what happens. Oh man, should I just let this one ride next to it too? Because this, I had a, another 44 up, but I just love that shredder cover. We're leaving that. Oh yeah, that shredder cover is dope, man. Donatello, there it is. There Big it is. Jack. All right. Perry. You know what? We, I got to put together a prize for Biggie Shack. You're getting some, you're getting some turtle. You're getting some turtles, Biggie Shack. I cannot <laughs> wait to put this together for you. Hell yes. That is awesome. Perry Cat. Perry Comics is just, Trolling us super hard right now. Hey, but you know what? There was a female turtle back in the old uh, cartoon. So that could happen at some point. You never know. Yeah, don't be hating. Who knows? <laughs> that Biggie Shack won. Yeah, he did, he don't believe it. You know, you got the karm, the, the karma has been good to me, so I got to give it back. You know? And you know what book I know for sure I have an extra of? I mean, they thought it was going to be the death of Splinter, but it wasn't. You know, you know which one I'm talking about? Yeah, 50, was it 59? Nine. Yeah, so I, got, I know I got an extra one of those. I know I got a couple other extras, and I know I got a, a turtle trade that I can send Biggie Shack. So Biggie Shack, I'll let you know when I got that shipping and tracking number for you. You know, that 59, man, it still goes for like above cover too. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, that, it's still like it's got that heat. People thought that Splinter yeah. was going to die. It was a key. Yeah, man. He gets straight up whacked, but he survives. So, all right. With well, that being said, well, you're getting one of these coming your way because I have an extra one of these Biggie Shacks. You get one of these. You're getting a Team NT59, a Team NT trade, and possibly another Team NT comic. So, 
There you got two right here. One of these is yours, baby. Nice. All right, we're just going to jump into it, my friend. We're going to just start off where we left off in story because we reviewed issue 93, City at War, part one. And that's where we ended last week's episode. So we're just going to kick it off right here. Free comic book day because this thing literally starts right after 93. Yeah, man. And you know what I got to say first before like we get into the story? If this is a free comic book, but it's like the size of a regular a book, you know, because oh, yeah, comic sure. book is like it's like a mini story, you know, like five or six pages. But this is a full, you know, full size comic book, man. By the way, I still have one more. So who knows? Maybe next week. We Dude, you weren't messing around, huh? Nope. Yeah. Nope. Well, yeah. I didn't get to go. So a couple of my buddies that went to free comic book day. Yeah. They didn't know what I was into. So they wound up giving me. And actually, Javi, the co-host of my show, he got me a set as well. But I'm like, dude, I don't need it. So I told him to give it to the other guy on our show, the the newest member of 90 Miles from Comics, our boy D Hyde. So nice. Yeah, but this is a thick for hey, a free comic book day, they definitely gave you a nice, a nice amount of comic. And, and most and they the kind of like, like uh, they kind of incentivized you to go on free comic book day to go get this because in issue 93, you know, at the very end, it says it continues on in free comic book day. So, yeah, man, it's sick. And I think they did a great job. With this being a free comic book day book, because most of them, they're not really event related. And if they are, it's very like, it's like 10 pages. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. they give you a preview of something else. This was, to your point, how many pages? It was like. It's 20 some pages, man. Yeah. So definitely more than your average free comic book. Almost a full size issue in a sense. Yeah. So. The last thing that we saw, we saw Karai pretty much stab and slice up Jenny, yep. which is the right-hand man of Splinter, the head of the foot at the moment in time. So pretty much the Turtles had to throw her into the van, and now they're on their way <clears throat> to get her to the hospital and get her some help. And that's literally what they're doing right now. Yeah. And as that's happening... You got your boy Casey Jones, and I forgot who else was riding with him, you know, behind. Actually, no, it's not him. It's uh, – It is. No, it's, it is. It's, it's Casey Jones and then that uh, Angel. Angel, that's right. Angel. So – and I guess she's decided to suit up now. Yeah, she's almost <laughs> always in that suit now. Anytime you really see her, like when she's fighting, she has that suit on. It's kind of like Iron Man of the Turtles. Yeah, pretty much. So they start to get, you know, chased down by Koa. Yeah, Ko Koya, Koya. Yeah. So, you know, they have, and they're, you know, doing their job to pretty much like protect the van and the turtles and making sure that they get, you know, help, you know, to Jenny. And of course, there's just obstacles being thrown in their way as they're trying to get to the hospital. And they pretty much have to like take a detour. Yeah, because at the very end, I think uh, of that la of 93, Karai kind of sends her mutants because she has her own mutants. She sends them after the van. So that's why you see Koya in this one. And then the, the shark, I can't remember the shark's name. Um, you know, they're they're after the van. They're trying to stop it. They want Jenny to die. Yeah, because Karai is trying to prove her point. You yeah, know? she's trying to take over the foot, man. She wants to take back over. So you get some cool little, you get you know, a little action right here between the shark and the turtles, and they have to go in and save Casey Jones, and they make a move on Koya, as you see there, and then I guess this this part was kind of cool, you know. Yeah. Once they, I, I like that. Take, and then you got this moment with Raph, you know, giving the bat to Casey, you know, and then you get. Them kind of like reminiscent of the old times, bro. Going right. ham, you know, riding out with their their homies, dude. Because it's like the it's like the old movie in uh, Casey Jones' first appearance in comics. It was Raphael. Raphael's on the cover of that one. Like they're always together. So, 
I, I like how they I like how they do that with with Casey Jones and Raphael always like the one two punch. Yeah. So they're of course taking care of business outside, and then you got Michelangelo. He's the one driving the the van. Yeah. And Donnie's like you know directing traffic, so to speak. And then eventually Leo's like, all right, I got to go out and help because the foot that like they've surrounded the hospital completely. So like there's no way for them to get in. So Donnie has like an idea, and Leo's like, well, you know we don't have time so just go just do it like i'm out i'm gonna go distract these guys so you guys can get out of here so him and the lopex just come out and start, start fighting the foot yeah and donnie decides like yo we're gonna take him to harold's lab like he's probably the only one that could probably help us right now you know without us getting bombarded by foot clan members so well, speculation what do you think they're trying to do without knowing exactly you know what's happening in the next issue they're trying to get to Harold's lab, so I have I have a thought in my head. Yeah? Yeah, I'm thinking Donatello died, and they put his mind in a robot body. They might do the same with Jenny. Yeah. That's why they're trying to get him to, uh, to Her or they're trying to get her to Harold's lab, because he could probably do the same for her. Yeah, at least that, right? Because it seems like, you know, there's no hope, because she seems to be withering, you know. And she got stabbed her. by that, that special sword. Like, it wasn't just a regular sword. With yeah. some magic with some magic sword no. so you know that's how this one kind of ends man i mean it tells you it's to be continued in in turtles 94 yeah man which is comes out what in like two weeks yeah you know for some reason my comic shop had it as coming out next week but i think it does come out in two weeks yeah because i don't think it's next week and if it is next week that's awesome even better guys right? and then we'll be talking about that next week if that's the case you know so Awesome, super action packed in this, and then it splits over to I guess another thing the team and T universe. So, no, what this, um, what these last like eight or nine, ten pages are is like the history of what's been going on with the oh, idea. Okay, run. it's a it's so it's pretty, yeah, you're right, it's pretty, pretty much just like catching you up to where they are right now because you got the whole death of Donatello, him, you know, walking through the spirit land, you know getting in touch with his mom and whatnot i thought that part was cool too man when like his when his spirit like was trying to like come back to himself and right like, he was like being torn like to go with his mom and then splinter was like well you're not done you're like your family still needs you here and then he's like all right well i guess i gotta go and he made that move you know right so, and that was in issue 50 yeah it was in issue 50 so what's so what's really good about this it's a free comic but it it really gives you the breakdown of what's been happening for the last 93 issues. Yeah. It, it showed you the death of Crane. It showed yeah, it you know, from the very beginning in the EPF and with the uh the death of Slash and what happened with Slash and just you know all sorts of stuff, man. This is a good issue to get to dive into uh into turtles. For sure, without a doubt. And then you could pretty much read this and hop in on 93 and go from there. And, what's, and what's really good is at the very, very end, it has um, it has the actual timeline. So it has a, a reader's guide to you know what's been going on since issue one, and it tells you what the trades are. You know what what the trade is if you want to read that particular storyline. Um, in the in the micro series, so if you see this, this is the Shredder micro. So it tells you like where in the story these are all taking place. And even the Batman Turtles, it has it has that run, those series in here too. And like, at what point in the IDW storyline is this Batman Turtles taking place? So this is, I mean, and it's a uh, it's a page, it's two pages and a half or two and a half pages. So this is uh this is probably one of the better free comic book day you know books that I've I've picked up. Yeah, that one in the Spider Man. Oh, yeah, the Spider-Man one was good, too, man. And even though it was just that little snippet of Absolute Carnage, it was so good. Yo, I do got to shout out my brother, Ryan Russo, showing up in the chat. He's one my best friend, guitar player, and lead singer of my band. Make sure you guys go sub up his YouTube channel. He's an incredible songwriter and musician. He's always trying to put new music and songs out there. I know he just put up a video of his newest track, so if you guys can in the chat... Go sub up Ryan Russo. Go check out that video and drop a comment for him. Nice. What is up, Ryan? Thank you for joining, man. 
Yeah, he loves some turtles too, man. There sure. we go. Hey, you, everybody should love some turtles. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the big boy issue. Shredder Ooh. and Hell, issue number one. Issue one. Oh, you're going to show off that cover? All right, I'm going to show off. Hey, that's picture. the only one I got, man. Oh, yeah? All right. Then, I only picked up this uh, the retailer incentive. So this is the uh, Raphael Albuquerque cover. And I was able to get this one on the right over here in my Spider-Man booth box. So I have two covers now. But even this normal cover, man, Santa Loku is killing all of them, man. All yeah. of them. Even issue number three, which I picked up yesterday, I just went with the, the A cover because I think even the A covers are beautiful, man. The yeah, they are. Killing it. Kill that, them it. It is, they're, man. They are super nice. I, I've already said before, man, Santu Loco is killing it with the artwork. And Always. the story, because he's doing both on this. Yeah, he's doing it both, yeah. One of the things that people aren't talking about in the comic book world, how many times do we see this nowadays where the guy's doing the art and the story just – and he's knocking it out of the park? Because if you're – I mean, you don't need to, I guess – know everything that's going on you could just pick it up you know and kind of follow it along and it, it would make sense to you but of course if you know the backstory of where shredder is and you know how he's gotten there it just makes it that much better yeah. you know and there's uh there's definitely some names that they you know they drop in this where if you haven't been reading turtles you might not really you know know who they're talking about because of course everybody knows the four turtles they know splinter shredder you might, you may or may not know who Karai is, but they they drop some other names in here where you kind of have to read the other issues to know, like you know who's Kitsune. You might not know who that is. You know who's that Takeshi Tatsuo, who's who's in this a lot, who's in this first issue a lot. You might not know who he is, but what I dig about this first one is it takes you back to that issue fifty, man. And we've talked about it before. Issue fifty is the the like the biggest issue of turtles that's come out it just turned everything bro it did it, like, it really it's crazy because it's not on the spec deck it still goes for pretty much cover like it doesn't go for over that and just so you guys know this is the issue that we're talking about right here issue 50 i'll just show it off one one more time so that way if you guys are in your lcs just go check up the turtle box and if you have it pick it up man and when you see that 7.99 price don't worry, that's the sticker price. I know it's crazy, but this book is worth it. You got the hard stock cover, and you got 80 pages, no advertisements, until yep. the end of just awesomeness. And it's just it's action right from the beginning, man. Yep, for sure. And action. the art is great as well. So, And our boy did the art on the inside, if I'm not mistaken, on this. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yep. San Loku. Yep. So, all right. So, as we all have mentioned to you before... Shredder's dead. Splinter petted him. And now we're seeing what he's been up to in hell. And this is issue one. So let's do it, Hedwin. All right. So. Yeah, go ahead, man. No, this is just this opening scene. So you got, I guess, his beheaded body just yep. sitting there, right? And you got just ancient rituals, you know, happening. So that way his spirit can be sent to, or, or of course, be on the path that it needs to be on in a sense i guess that's the right way to say it. i don't say i don't think we're supposed to send them to hell but i guess this so that is so that woman that woman there that is kitsune and she is this witch this ancient witch who you know he felt shredder fell in love with and his old his old self which was that takeshi tatsuo the best the best swordsman in all of feudal japan you know she kind of brought him back into life too. Like he's supposed to be this dragon god. So that's who that woman is. And she is trying to resurrect Shredder or to resurrect the dragon god. Yeah, who just so happens to be, I guess, Shredder because it's something I guess he kind of has always felt or known like since he was a kid. And as he, you know, and this is one of the things that they talk about throughout the entire issue, him being like this dragon god and like, I guess him stepping into like his place and what he has to do to become Shredder. And you get right. to see the transformation, which is awesome, you know? Yep. And yep. then artwork just great. So it's kind of like, you know, going through the whole beheading and that whole thing. And then it just drops you back to when pretty much you have 
Shredder, Shredder and Splinter, but as kids when they were, you know, first born into this earth as actual, you know, people and not the reincarnations of what they are now. So Shredder's taken like back to this forest where, of course, he remembers playing with his brother. Right. Because at the end, right before Splinter beheads him, you know, he, he said, he tells Shredder, tells Splinter, I want to go to the dream. I want to go to the dream. And this is the dream that he wanted to go to. So Splinter's like, all right, I got you, bruh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the chops his head off, man. <laughs> yeah. Legit. <laughs> it's legit, man. Yeah, it's super legit. So, you know, he makes his way to like this cave. And then once he's getting there, like this is when he starts having to fight like his inner demons and starts to have to like really overcome like the person I guess he's always like hated the most. You can so say if you look on that, like what is this? The third the third page when he starts fighting, that that guy, that is Takeshi Tatsuo, right? That was hit the original, like for his original form. It's like the swordsman that yeah the swordsman so that guy died and his essence and his soul went into the body of this kid who eventually becomes shredder so now he's fighting it's shredder versus this guy this swordsman the original shredder you can the, say. pretty much the original the guy that created the foot clan that's who that is and he even says it in here i am i'm the creator of the foot clan i made this founder of the foot and then also too if you look right here on his little armor in the middle he's got the foot right on the yeah he's got that foot clamp yeah. on yeah. there man sick so sick. he's um you know shredder's trying to get out of hell or i you know you don't really exactly know he's just trying to get through this cave system but then this other the swordsman guy he wants to combine their souls together so he can finally become one again yeah but, but he throws him in water bro i don't know like why the yeah, hell they, they, and then he's fighting like these zombie sirens, you know, which is pretty cool. As like, dude, with the art, the, man, the artwork. I just I can't it. speak enough to it, man. The artwork is so dope. Yeah. And then he's falling, he's falling, and then all of a sudden it just seems like he gets pulled. And who would pull him out? Of course, oh, his Hunter boy, man. who sent him in. <laughs> His boy pulled him out. He told him he's safe, man. Like, you're safe now. I got you. And then this part I thought was kind of cool because you got Splinter and they start trying to, like, you know, reminisce in a sense. They're talking about them as in their childhood and whatnot. And they start, you know, making their way to the tree and, like, this, like, you know, the tree of life. Right. And this is, you know, the matrix of all human souls. You know, it's stated and, you know, but he, but he tells him, he tells him that you're, um, you're also a vessel, just like the tree of life is. Like you are a powerful dragon god, and it's trying to come out of you. Mm -hmm. Like it's trying to take over. So, um, you know, he's kind of just giving him this backstory on on what he what he really is. Yeah, and then I love it. He's like, "This is dream." He's like, "Well, this must be. It's a nightmare," you know, to him. Yeah. yeah, which I thought was like, all right, of course, he wants nothing to do with any of this. And he just wants to get back to being Shredder, head of the foot. I like how he does, you know, say, I'm, you know, fate is in my own hands, you know, and because, you know, Splinter's trying to tell him, like, you know, fate plays itself out, I guess, in a sense, you know, in the tree and all that has its positioning and alignment. So, and Splinter, you know, Splinter goes on to say, you know, the choice, the choice is yours, but you have to give up control. Like you, you need to let's, you need to give control up and um, you're going to find peace or something like that. And he's like, I can't, that's not me. I can't give up control. I'm the one controlling the situation. So, yeah. So then oh, he boy, uh, Biggie Shaq says, I'll check the replay, taking a nap. YouTube is 90. Big jabroni peace. Thanks, man. Hey, Biggie Shaq. Thanks for stopping by, man. Yeah, man, thank everyone for stopping by. I didn't even do like a chat rundown, man. But Perry, JB, Dark Mufasa, Biggie Shaq, thank you guys. Burke Nasty in the house. Burke Nasty joining the game. What's going on? So Shredder dips from there. He's like, yo, I'm out this bitch because he hears a voice. And who's he? it's like the one that he loves. And he pretty much is trying to 
he says, I got to get back. I must find a way back to her. And yeah. he, who we find, who we find out is her is, is that Kitsune. Like he loves this witch. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he's which crazy. Shooting, right? Yeah. Shooting for Shredder. So he's trying to get back to his love. You got Splinter like chasing after him. And this is where it kind of gets cool, man. Like you get, if things weren't already weird because Shredder's in hell, Splinter like pretty much just shrinks down to the actual size of a normal rat. Yeah, of a rat. Yep. And you can, like you can see like I don't know if you guys can see this panel. I'm showing it off. Spoiler alert as we get into this. <laughs> Cuz this where it gets fucking awesome. And I guess I dropped an F bomb, but I don't know any other way to describe this. So Splinter is this little rat, but he still has like the mind of Splinter, but he can't really communicate with right shredder like through talking so he's got to like use rat like screeches but in some weird way they're like connected so shredder understands shredder understands what he's saying so they get to like this bridge man and then like as you know you you see well as he's just making his way to this bridge he's like climbing up you know mountains and stuff here and you just got like this you're in hell so just dead zombies everywhere man yeah just like a horde of de dead zombies down there man and, and i and i think those might be people that he's, he's killed off before or something I, yeah for sure it has to be right and then you're seeing like soldier-like people and different you know type of warriors samurai warriors and stuff like that so as he's like getting to the bridge he just start like you know they all just i'm gonna destroy you and they all just start trying to bum rush him and yeah stuff they like jump that. him yeah, which is crazy. And then it's mentioned you murdered us all, and it's pretty much like anyone that he's ever, you know, killed before. And then he starts going to town, which is pretty dope. And then you got this uh dude, he even beheads, he beheads yeah. that guy. Yeah, I know, right? We just show it. He cuts that show. dude's head off, man. Doesn't even care. And he goes and he tells like they're all he goes, I'll destroy all of you. Like, you know, that's his response, you know. Like that was so that guy right there, he talks about it in here. That was Victor. He was the leader of one of the gangs that was in New York City. And I remember seeing that character in the earlier issues of, of Turtles in this IDW run. Yeah. So that you have that. You got Splinter still running around with his rat screeches and stuff like that. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like, there's like a voice coming out and he was like oh now that's the shredder i know you know because he started going ham on everyone and like the beheading buddy and whatnot and then lacking technique but effective guys doesn't that rat look familiar too to you and when you turn the page bro it's zombie turtle bro Dude, the zombie turtles bro that page is awesome blew my mind when i read it i'm like, like i wish i could get that as a poster to put up on the wall Bro, right? That would be a great just that with you know without the words, just take the words out and just have the turtles like that. That would be an awesome poster to put up on the wall. And then you know the the last words of the book are the sons of Hamato Yoshi. Dude, this issue, man. For set it off, man. This I, is what, when I, after I read this, I'm like, oh, I'm in. Yep. I'm in. And I kept telling Perry, I told Perry about it. I was like, dude, you have to pick up this Shredder in Hell. It is such a good read. Artwork, the artwork is amazing. The just the the read, the you know the dialogue in there is is really good. And if you've been keeping up with Turtles, man, like this is this is something that you have to read to kind of understand what's gonna happen in the in the following issues in the main series. Yeah, when he for when he does come back, he's, you know? he's coming back, bro. And I think you know we're gonna talk about issue three next week. Uh, but I think issue three is the first appearance of that dragon god they keep talking about. Okay. Cool. So I just re I reread it again today, and I you know I'm looking at the panels, and they show the dragon god in there in like that um that Takeshi Tatsuo is in there talking to him, and you see the dragon god on the top. So I think that's that's going to be considered the first appearance of him. Yo, shout out to Who That Comics. Who That in the house? What the hell? I don't know anyone that loves turtles more than Hudat. We got to get Hudat on the show one of these weeks. I know I keep saying it. I will make it happen, people. Do not worry. And as he stated, Shredder and Hell was a good read and art was nice. And without a doubt, I think issue two is the same. 
I haven't read my issue three yet, so I'm excited to hop in that because we'll be talking. Oh, my hey, hey, I I didn't spoil it. That happens oh, very early on, man. So, yeah. dude, it's good, it is, bro. First of all, even if I'm not one of those people, if I got spoiled, like when something's good, like movie related or even comic book related storytelling, you're gonna get drawn into it anyway. Yeah, you're right. Like I totally am a true believer in that. Where if it is that good, doesn't matter because as I'm reading it, I'll get lost in it. So I'm excited. And even telling you the story, like spoiling the story, you still have to see the artwork, man. It's like context is king. Oh, for sure. Jumping into it and seeing the artwork that goes along with the dialogue and the story, like that's that's where you get into it, man. Especially with the Shredder and Hell, like we said, man. Santu Loco, he that dude is a, a beast. Yeah. Brazilian cat, Brazilian guy, killing it, man, and not getting enough love because he's doing the art and the story, bro. There's not not enough people in the game doing that, bro. And I don't know, I don't know what else he does other than turtles. I mean, there might be something else, but I've never really seen his artwork on anything else. It's true. I I think I agree with you there. I don't know. So while you're talking, I'm gonna actually look that up right now and All see right, cool. if he shows up. Well, while I'm talking and you're looking that up, we're just going to go ahead and just tell you next week on Review and a Half Show, Turtle Talk Thursdays, we're going to go and dive into issue two of Shredder and Hell. And then we're all getting our hands dirty because we're going to be going issue number three as well. And I'm going to pull that out. I have it somewhere here. I know it. Bro, Chad, on this guy's website, you can buy the original artwork from Shredder and Hell, like pages. So sure, that's awesome. The original. So you're going to get that last one right now then, huh? My man, it's kind of expensive. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's kind of out of my price range, man. Woo. But this, hey, this is nice. Well, one day. Well, I don't have Shredder and Hell 3 on me. It might be out in my living room. It's in yeah. the stack of books. This is, uh, this is Shredder and Hell number three. This is the one that I got. I got the normal cover. So yeah, this is the uh, the one in ten retailer incentive. So I'm always always picking up those retailer incentives, man. I love the artwork that's done on those. Oh, here it is. It's in the stack of my new comic book day, Paul. Oh. Every comic book YouTuber knows the struggle. Of just books <laughs> everywhere. Dude, I still got to put away this week and last week's new comic book day books. Bro, it's terrible. But it's it's good, terrible, bro. Right? Yeah, it is a good, good terrible one. man. I struck out. It wasn't that one. I don't think it's in there either. And hey, first, ask you, and let me ask everybody that's in the chat. As far as Shredder being a you know one of the main villains in our in our lives, right? Because I'm a kid of the '80s. I grew up with Shredder as a, as a bad guy. Where does he rank on on the villain list? Is he a top, you know, top three, top five? Oh, he's definitely he's he Dude, that's an top top three for me. Like Vader and Doom, you know, um, uh, the Joker. So where does Shredder lie on that list? And I guess it's really it's 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 going to be different for everybody. It depends on if you grew up with turtles, if you're reading comics, you know, the turtle comics. Man, he's at least top five for sure on my list. He might break top three. I mean, number one on my book, it might have to be Vader just because I love Star Wars so much. I yeah, love Vader's a badass. He's yeah. definitely, Vader is definitely top three. I put Joker in mind. Joker's probably number one for me. I'm just such a big Joker fan. But Shredder might, he might crack that top three because he, he is a, he's a badass. And like, he's not what we remember from the 80s cartoons, just some, buffoon you know he he really is out to to rule new york city and try to rule the world yeah always from the get yeah steve whiting in the house what is up steve Yo, what up steve thanks for joining us man no and then definitely he might for me definitely top five for me for sure it's a good I question right to think just to think on yeah and maybe that's what we should do next week it's i know it's not completely turtle like related, but I think he he would make our top five list. So maybe let's do a top five of our villains, and we'll reveal that next week because we know Shredder's going to be on that. Oh yeah, so we'll have that ready for the people, and that gives us some time to actually think about it. You know what I mean? And for so, everybody in the chat, you know, come up with your own top five and join us again next week, man. Yeah, let us know your list. 
Oh, here it is. Normal cover, bro. I knew I had it here somewhere. I got to get this more organized. But, yo, the normal cover. Yep. And that's actually a panel in there, too. I so, love that. Sick. That Can't wait to read it. Sick, man. Can't wait to read it. So. So what do you yo. got going on after this? I know you're doing, like, a bunch of other live streams. No, actually, I don't have any other live streams today. This is it. This is the only one. Oh, okay. So I'm just chilling. I'll, oh, who that says he's down for next week? If you're down for next week, bro, it will be the first official time all four turtles will be on the show because I'm pretty sure C. Woodard is confirmed for next week as well. And these are, you know, you three are the guys that I thought of. I'm like, yo, if I can get these three guys on, that would be awesome because these got, guys. Yeah, we got our four turtles there. Yeah, for sure. So who that we'll make that happen. I'll I'll hit up C Woodard and let him know that you're in. So he has to be in, and we're gonna sh shredder in hell two and three. That's what we're gonna talk about. So guys in the chat, you guys get caught up on that, so that way you can join us. I got nothing tonight, Edwin. What do you got, brother? Nothing, brother. I uh, I just finished editing my uh, episode five of Arcs and Minis. You know, I dropped that on Friday, so that'll be premiering tomorrow night at eight central. So 9 p.m. Eastern, and I'm going to be discussing uh, an Aftershock comic uh, called American Monster. So, you know, join me. Join me at 8 o'clock for that. Yo, what's up, John? It's Comics with Kids. Yo, what's up, John? Thank you for joining us as well. Yeah, Sweet. so I'll be premiering that show tomorrow. It's it's a quick nine-minute nine minute episode, man. And then uh, on Saturday, I'll be on Coast to Coast with Rod and, um, and, and Jeff. All right, Rod with a little, hopefully a little Megacon, huh? Oh, yeah. I think that's what they're going to be talking about, man. So I'll just be in there in the background looking pretty, I guess. Yeah, I'll be at Megacon this Sunday. So anyone that will be there Sunday, keep your eye out. That's when I will be there. Even though I got nothing going on tonight, Edwin, you already know YouTube is 90, and I'm always doing something. I'm scheduled to be on the Power Hour tomorrow with the Macho Head and Biggie Shack himself. We also, every Monday night, you can find me on that MCE channel, on that Geek Show. Follow MCE, everything marvelous, collectible, and entertainment. Followed by Story Comic Core every Monday night, 10 o'clock. We're going to review Why the Last Man because we forgot to talk about it last week. So make sure you're there for that one. Tuesday, I believe we're getting down on Comic Head 84 as we're going Tech Talk 1003. So make sure you guys go check out that. Wednesday, we'll be right back here for 90 Miles from Comics Live. And Thursday, review and a half show, Turtle Talk Thursday. So make sure you guys are subbed up. Hit that notification bell. Drop a comment below. And before I forget, man, and I should have said this at the beginning, and I feel terrible, but channel's got a new sponsor, man. We got a local comic book shop to sponsor us down here. Secret Society Comics down here in Sunrise, Florida. Make sure you guys go follow them on IG. Gauntlet Comics in North Miami, same owner, just two different comic shops with two different names. Both names are awesome, so go check them out. But most importantly, they donated some books to the show that I'm giving away. If you go Ooh. on yesterday's live stream on 90 Miles from Comics Live, in the middle of the show and on the end of the show, I reveal how you can be put into the drawing for these books. So make sure you go check out that video so you can go win yourself a Naomi 5 or an Immortal Hulk 17. So get on that. It'll be shipped together. So check that out. Shout out to Secret Society Comics, the new partner of 90 Miles from Comics. Nice. Edwin, thank you for thank joining you. us, man. Thank you for having me on, man. This No, bro this, is, bro, this is awesome. Turtles, I love it. Thank all of you in the chat. Who that? Ryan Russo, Perry Comics, Burke Nasty, John's Comics with Kids. John says the camera's on me. So what's up, John? <laughs> stuck on you probably the whole time and it doesn't matter bro the people rather see you than me any day of the week bro it doesn't matter but <laughs> thank you all for joining us these are the two books that you guys can win as you guys probably didn't see them earlier naomi immortal hulk be here next week shredder and hell issues two and three you guys are the best we'll see you next week peace peace